What is up, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. First time here, welcome aboard. Coming back, welcome back aboard. Today, fishing with me is the one and only DJ Henry. This video probably started about two days ago. I'd say it's when the video started. We had a couple of our new friends coming from the UK. They want to do a race. So uh, I guess I show you that video started two days ago. Here we go, boys and girls. I'll see you after the intro. Just away. <laughs> so today is day one practice for our UK boys. They'll be doing a Molokai paddleboard race this coming weekend. We're excited, they're excited. We're gonna escort them. And uh, came out for trial day today, right? Get them, get them in the water real fast. Tell them you live in the experience of the Hawaii waters. But uh, in UK, he said they have a. Uh, Andy, how big is our tide? Andy, what's the tide you say? Three meters? An eight meter tide. We have a two and a half meter tide, that's huge. You guys have a 24 foot tide. That's ridiculous. So we're outside with Wiki, give him a little practice run. Let's see which board is faster. You got these boards, the little tail compliments of another paddle board in Hawaii, which is epic. I get him in the water and then, uh, it's gonna be an epic paddle board video if you guys want to see a race video, is what Molokai is all about. Okay, yeah, I'll just okay. jump off that side, yeah? Yeah, yeah, just jump away from the motors. They're not in here, but just, perfect. Okay. There you go. See you later, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> nice knowing you. Enjoy family back to the UK. <laughs> <laughs> the UK is that way. <laughs> oh. Cool. All right, you gonna tie him? Oh, he did. No. Okay. And he can measure the distance? Or are you gonna measure the distance? Well, he's gonna do it himself. Today, what we're doing today is letting him try boards. There's two different boards you want to try. I don't know much about paddling, but one board is a lot lower, light, a lot lighter, so volume wise, doesn't have a lot of volume, I guess. And for, I guess, more like a crossing, you want to have the volume, you'd be able to surf. There's a happy meeting, and you should have find it today. So we're going to do two runs, and then uh, we're going to work on some transitions for water and food, and work on a game plan. We found two bird piles. We found two bird piles already. We wanted to be fishing. <laughs> Second board, shot number two. See how fast it is. We're about to do the drop off. Let's just transfer. Oh, sick, man. Steve's getting his speedo ready. Speedos, and we're going on. Follow on. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. 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 Woo. Steve, I'm going to my friend Coney. Wait, is the key to me a favor, Steve? Johnny fish on these puppies. <laughs> Tony, where you at? <laughs> That's the most excited I've seen Kevin Nick. <laughs> I'm gonna go up on front. Steve wasn't mentally ready yet. <laughs> Steve was feeding some fishes for a little bit. He's doing the sharks. <laughs> Steve has a major phobia of sharks right now. He's just... <laughs> Be fine though. Check the shots. Right, you're good. You're good. Oh. Crazy guys over here. The water is so blue. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been far faster, but Steve wasn't really feeling us throw it off. <laughs> Only one more, Steve. Don't worry, just one more. <laughs> <laughs> so Steve, how is it? How's the water? <laughs> Good? You made it out. <laughs> we didn't get attacked. <laughs> For some reason, Steve is deadly terrified of sharks. So there's no sharks in Hawaii. The only way we test on no good spot. You ready, Scuba Steve? It's fun. <laughs> Okay, so we found the board that we're going to use for the race. We did a couple water ball transitions with Scuba Steve. And uh, it should be good now. We have a, we have a game plan. We got our powder guy here. So where'd you come from? 
uh, England. It's a far flight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a place called Cornwall. So it's, uh, it's a lot of uh, paddling. And There's a lot of paddling and surfing and stuff, yeah. the ocean stuff over there. All sorts of water sports activities, surf activities. That's cool. But you don't really think of that, do you, when you're... Yeah, not, not England. I did think of that. Yeah. So I guess we'll see more of him on race day. Uh, all right, we'll see you guys on race day. Scuba Steve. <laughs> okay, so now, pretty much where we left off. Today is Saturday, Saturday morning, 7.50. And uh, we are heading to Molokai. We launched on Sand Island. We don't want to launch a Hoi Kai because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a mess over there. So we're going to run up 10 miles and we're going to cross the channel go to Molokai. We have one lure in the water. We're fast showing a 40 by the ledge. Maybe we can get lucky with Ono and have some dinner while we get to Molokai. But it's going to be a two day camping, fishing trip. Not so much fishing at Molokai, but a lot of camping. Beat bag life. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We did it backwards today. Well, then you could fish your trip. You know the rules. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's to be. Ask Sea God. Yeah, get something, you have to get something. I yeah, tell you what, that Sea God, he loves his 7 Eleven Spamble Subis. 7 Eleven, if you're watching us, we like to get sponsored. We like free Moose Subis. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody knows somebody's 7 Eleven, we want Moose Subis for a Sea God. All right, let's get this in the water and uh, we have 26 more miles to go to get to where we're going. And it's going to be epic. A little bit of camping trip going on. High drop. Oh, that was a high drop, huh? That was the high drop. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Let's get it. Henry brought our three lines. What happened, Henry? Rubber hooks. Oh, I didn't want to run the nine inch because of that. That's an expensive one. That's two skirts. That's a Uno. Not good at all. That's how you lose a wild one. We have to wait till 2.30 to meet our guy. The rule is when every escort over here, you have to stay 500 meters offshore. So, follow the rules, we're definitely more than 500 meters offshore. Bottom fishing, Henry's first drop, curly tails. He got a small moana and a lizard fish. Oh yeah, throw them back. Lizard fish, where you just beat? Yeah, we're gonna keep the lizard fish as bait because we forgot the bait. All right, keep going. Awesome, I can't wait to get our, our canoe off to our guy, our paddleboard off to our guy. They're gonna anchor in a cove over there tonight and anchor up and barbecue and go for a nice little swim because it's hot. I'm using some salt and vinegar chips. Oh, I want that. I want that. I'll take that. Well, that's a big boy. Hold that up. You're a champion, my friend. We came for her. <laughs> yeah. If I go in neutral, we're drifting at like three knots. That's how all the wind's by. So we're staying reverse two motors. So far, we got a Topelu. Lake Moana. We like some of the small ones. We got a couple of small ones that we might use for bait, but eh, if we don't use them, we'll level them for bait. But so far, nothing spectacular. Except for that, that's pretty spectacular. I should have filmed that. I just gave it this guy his boat and then uh, his swimmer, school Steve. There he goes. That guy's. A, you can just tell me that guy's swimming. He's an athlete, yeah? Oh, yeah. Right? He really jumps in the water. He's, he's like you see him jumping. He's like you see him jumping. Like, that guy's an athlete. You can tell. All right, here we go. Let's get to this maze. There's no spearfish allowed, so this place is just too beautiful not to jump in and check it out. No spearfishing, no lobsters, out of season. Place like this, you just come in and just enjoy the beauty. And that's what we're going to do. <laughs> With the Huggy Killer himself. Get our masks, our fans, GoPros. Let's go for a little swim, see what we can find. Make sure our anchor is good because we have to steer for the night. Places like this, when you come here, you should respect it. Don't be picking up heat, harvesting all the fish. Because there's a lot of guys here that come here just overfish, which isn't right. But places like this, it deserves to be preserved the way it is. It's Molokai it's incredible. Don't have Costco. Yeah, Molokai don't have Costco. This is their Costco beer, and this place is. Beautiful, just straight beautiful.
We gotta reset the anchor, we're pulling anchor. Yeah, we just moved anchors yet again. We got a new spot over here. My friend Brian right there, Brian C. I don't wanna say his last name, just in case he has a FBI after him. Uh, he told us to come over here. He's like, this is a good spot. You should come over here, more down. So we were around the bend. We decided to come around the bend this way. And there's sand, our anchors will get a lot better. And there's some cool reef stuff to check out. So we're gonna go put on our swim stuff one more time and go for another swim, boys and girls. It's all about the adventure today. Good times in Molokai. A few moments later. We should have the water. Incredible. The only thing is I think the GoPro froze over in our water. So hopefully we miss any shots, right? Oh, man. It froze kind of early in. That was awesome. We're gonna friend Brian next to us right over here. Keeping each other company all night. And uh, I don't know, it should be epic. We're gonna get our barbecue grill going and get ready to go. Probably put the drone up, get shot of everybody over here, all the boats, because it's, it's awesome. I told Henry, I feel like we're, we're cheating our wives and our kids. So this place is so incredible just to bring them and see it. I mean, not even to go fishing or like pickle pee or do anything like that, but just come see a place like this. It's just incredible. Like, got our grill going. Check out, we got those brand new marshmallow towels. They're pretty epic. I'm excited about them. Came out good. You can see their way through sometimes because the way they dyed, I guess, what the guy, the manufacturer is telling me. You can see the way through it just a little bit because it's one-sided, but overall, not bad. Super sick. Get them on morselers.com. Hey, you know what? This is what the adventure is all about right here. We got to do more adventures like this, I feel like. And not just use the escort as a excuse to do these kind of adventures, yeah? Another shrimp by the bobber. <laughs> Henry was in charge of skewers. I was in charge of securing the grill. We got skewers. What do you got, Henry? We got ribeye steak. We got redondo. Incrustables. <laughs> Mushrooms. Onions. Bell pepper. Bell pepper. We got Portuguese sausage. Oh, it's going down. Shrimp. I'll tell you what. These grills, these magma grills, bro, unbelievable. Totally worth the money. Got it from my screen. This is not sponsored advertising. I wish it was, but magma grills. Skewers, shrimp, we eat the hot dogs, Ray. Henry's loving life, look at him. Mm. Getting a suntan. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Happy kids. Usually we're slubbing it. Yeah, usually we're slumming it. Uncrustables for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> and a midnight snack on the way home. <laughs> Not today. Not today. We got shrimp on the barbie today. Like three pieces of potato chip. <laughs> One incrustable. We have a couple of little later on tonight, gotta love it. day two everybody it's 6 a.m this girl is money if you want to get one i'll put links in my bio someone amazon i buy what's free but not everybody has what's free in the area someone amazon definitely money i'll it out, love it out just a little bit feeding the monk seals in molokai <laughs> is a great experience <laughs> Oh, it's good times in Molokai. All right, let's go get our paddler. To pick up your paddler, this is what you have to deal with. Good luck today. Make me proud today. Make me proud today. Thank you. Got stew with Steve here. All right, take your boy out. All the boats. Good morning. How you doing? You want to rinse off? Oh, you're not going to have to rinse off. Huh? You're going to get salty all day. You don't need to rinse off. All right, let's get out of here. You guys ready to get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> he took his pills today. You're good today, right? We're good today, but we're... Um, 27 checking in. Hopefully, we're not going to be sick. All right. 28 checking in. 24, 25, 25. Team 31. Team 31 checking in. Woo! <laughs> All right, we started. We're going. What about? 
Mal from shore at least. A mile from shore. Everybody starts to spread out slowly. See what happens. Boy's doing good. He's top 10 of all paddlers, but for his size board, he's in a limited class, not in unlimited. I'm pretty sure he's in the top three. Come because on. Everybody else is giant boards. Which is epic. This guy's a straight athlete. He came here to compete. That's what we're doing. We looked on the website, we got an update with the tracker, because the tracker shows you where they are. Every way up there is pretty much unlimited. He's an older guy like us, he's in his early 40s. So not just for his age group, but overall he's in second place, right? Second place, that's yeah, pretty, that's, that's pretty smashing, that's animal style right there. That's awesome. Wow. So now for his age group, that's that's a beast right there. You gotta love that. Go on, Drew! Everybody behind. Epic, doing good. Keeping a good pace. So we tried to connect them a little bit. Those guys are trying to go up a little bit too much. And our lineup is a little off. So we're gonna go a little more left and he's, he's corrected. So still doing good though, making great time. He's definitely got his lineup because he's been pretty much on the spot where Otto's even telling him anything. So oh, yeah. All right, Scuba Steve's getting ready to go in the water. Dude, it's first, change. first bottle change is crucial. Good job, Andy! Keep going! Let's go, Andy! Let's go get Steve. Yeah, Steve's right there. Uh, I'm in good control. Very in control. Buddy, go with me! Awesome. Jeez, buddy. Good job, Steve! That was fast. Awesome job, Steve. Good job, Scuba Steve. You're my hero. <laughs> Scuba Steve isn't just Scuba Steve. He's actually a triathlete. This guy's actually literally a triathlete. Did the Iron Man and everything else, if I didn't mention that earlier. But he doesn't want to be in the water. He's scared of the gray guy. So don't worry, there's no sharks in the channel. All the sharks are burnt short. We always tell him that. There's no sharks in the channel ever. Not even the big tigers. They don't hang out in the channel. But uh, overall, what do you say? Andy says he's doing good? Yeah, he's look good. He's comfortable. Think about it. He's been paddling now for going on almost two hours. We're 10 minutes, 10 minutes short of two hours. And he has not stopped paddling yet. That is amazing. Just to wrap your head around that. Paddling for two hours straight. A lot of you guys watch. I know for myself. I would not be able to do that. That's that's impressive. It's mine or matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. There goes again. Unbelievable. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, a second. let's get ready. Steve has a deep fear of sharks. Steve was talking about how he's scared of sharks and Nick was like, I only seen sharks once this year. What are you talking about, Nick? You see sharks all the time, every single trip. No sharks, no sharks. <laughs> and Nick was like, shut up, Henry. <laughs> and then I said, yeah, we even sent a great weight this year. And Nick gave me the shut up, Henry, look again. We got Coast Guard helicopter flying around here. We are golden. Thank you, Coast Guard. Cue the music, Nick. You ready, Steve? Yeah, man. Good job, Andy! Let's go, Andy! Good job, keep going! Oh man, he's hit me fast. See! You got it? This is cool. Good job, Steve. Good job, everyone. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Woohoo! Done, slick. How do you see him? You see him good? Yeah, he's happy. Good, awesome. 
because adrenaline. <laughs> yeah. It's nuts. What are you afraid of? You're in the water the whole time. I know, it's just my. I guess like the whole. He's buying over a battery. It's for him as well. <laughs> You're great. Don't mind it, don't be funny. You'll be fine. <laughs> we got tourniquets on the boat. Good job, Steve. It's a team effort. Without him, he needs you. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a team effort. You guys need each other. Really, all the support. Yep. You can do it alone. In it to win it. Yeah, our boy's doing good. I'm stoked. I want to see this guy win. Yeah. Tell you what, everybody likes competition. I don't care who you are. And this guy, he's got that fire in him. That's awesome. I want to see this guy win it. Came all the way from the UK. He bought boards from a couple guys over here from Fluger. Thank you, Fluger, for laying our, our boy ball your board. I'm sure he appreciates it. Full on family of powders, Fluger of them. So thank you for laying bottom of your boards. And uh, he's been good. It's epic. He's been super good. I think you can take your fins off. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go back again in the water. You keep the fuckers on. <laughs> I'll say one hour. One hour. Well, what do you think about the water? Oh, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's clear. True, true blue. Is it warm? warm? It's lovely and warm. Lovely and warm. Didn't see no sharks, so that was good. <laughs> No sharks yet. Yeah, there's no sharks in each other, all by the shoreline. Yeah, the wind is just from the adrenaline. This guy did the Iron Man in triathlete. A one minute swim ain't gonna win him. This guy lost his paddler. Did see my paddler? I lost it. Oh my god. How do you lose your paddler? Oh, unreal. 30. 10.30 is when he asked for it. 10.30, we get to move Steve back in the water like a champion. Tell you what, if y'all do a good race like this, make sure you have a good partner. A partner in the water giving you stuff is definitely key. It's going to help you save time. You guys are trying hard to complete really high, so fast transitions are key. Okay, so to give us a better view of everything going on, Henry volunteered to jump in the water with the camera. It's going to be epic. So we get that little exchange view, which I love. But uh, we're going to get a friend very shortly, and we're going to do our, our drop. It's about 13 off. Uh, oh, Way behind us. Three miles behind us. So a little while on the radio, they said that there's a, I guess a group of sharks flying the powers from behind, the powers of the bat. About three miles back, so not a concern for us. The app is on some you know what I mean? We don't want to bring it to their attention, Steve and Mike's attention. We want them to get mentally messed up, but yeah, it's a challenge. There's sharks out here, you know what I mean? Attacks on the way are very rare, so it's a good thing, but definitely I'd be vigilant, you guys open. So we're doing good. They're back there three miles. I think we'll be fine. We're doing good. We're closing on 10 miles to Oahu. He's doing great. He's got definitely got his stride going. We had a bunch of stand-up paddlers and foilers pass us, which is what you'd expect. Get ready to go, guys. Go! Good. Get in? Yep. Yep, Steve. You good, Steve? Good job, boys. Good job, boys. I should have jumped on on this one. <laughs> Good job. That was quick. Yeah. Woo. Get your breath. <laughs> Made that one look easy. You're all warmed up now. That was good. That was quick. Go his bottle. 
You're getting too used to this. Uh, adrenaline's not running through no more. <laughs> At least that was a shorter swim than the last one. Yeah, it was pretty. Seen it out, wouldn't it? Yeah, that was quick. Threw the bottle, you gave it to him, put it in. No wasting. No wasting time, is it? Oh. Yeah, like you said, maybe one stroke. That was it. I'll never forget, I won a race once by one second. Holy. By, um, yeah, it's just. Gets down to being quick transitions. Every every second is crucial, isn't it? Yeah. That's the boys right there. They don't know he only has about seven and a half more miles to Coco Head. To, yeah, to the point. Yeah. <laughs> you got six more miles to go. Yeah, very, very close. You're doing good on time. We did a couple of fluid exchanges, water exchanges, keep them going, filling that gas tank. Right, we got about a three quarter mile until we get to where we have to make our turn to go in. We got a couple of runner waves and we'll be in there. It's good though. Don't stop paddling yet. Alright guys, we'll never give us all about. Let's go Andy, you got this! It's about a mile. There's about a mile left to go. I mean, is there a guy right here finishing strong? Gotta love it. I'll put him right on your side. Right on the other side, Steve. The, the other side. Is there a guy finishing the race, finishing strong? Well done, Milky. Good job, mate. Good job, Milky. Come on, Milkster. Woo! Let's go, Milky. Whoa! Woo! I got the name. What's going on? Come on, Milky. Thirty-two. Good job, Andrew. Thirty-one. Oh, thirty-one. Let's give it up for Andrew Bryant. Good job, mate. Andrew. Woo! Okay, you ready, Steve? Cassio. Yeah, okay, Steve. So great job to Andrew. That was definitely an accomplishment. Uh, I hope he reached his goal. I know for him, his personal goal, what he wanted to do was be first place for his age category, which he was. Overall for the paddleboard, the limited size, he got six overall out of like 40 something guys or something. It was it was, it was was pretty crazy. I never seen anybody paddle so hard in my life and nonstop like a machine. That just shows you what I mean. It's mind over matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. So great job to you. Um, also a great job to his, uh, his teammate, his partner in crime, Scuba Steve. Good job to you, Scuba Steve. I'm sure without Steve being there, it's gonna be much harder. You have to have a good team, like I always say. You find yourself a good team, you're gonna be successful. Scuba Steve helped him be part of that team and make it successful. There was times he didn't wanna go in the water, and we don't wanna tell him, but there were sharks sighting behind the pack. But it was three miles back, so there's nothing to worry about. But there's supposedly three big tigers following behind in the pack. So, overall great outcome. So we gave away a shirt last week, and here's the winner for the shirt below. I'm sure a lot of you guys heard news what happened uh, the other day in Maui, Lahaina. They got devastated, you know what I mean? They need lots of supplies. There's lots of shipments going out to Maui to help them with supplies and stuff, dry goods. Money-wise, there's lots of people taking donations. If you're gonna donate, 
be careful. Double check who you're donating to. There's so much scams going on right now. I've been people. I've been having people message me all day telling me, let people know about this one. It's a scam. This is a scam. So there's lots of scams. If you're gonna donate, I'm sure it's greatly appreciated. But just watch who you donate to and do your due diligence and double check it as always. Um, next week's video was a banger. Thousand pound day. I think we had 1,100 pounds. And it was epic. You're not gonna wanna miss next week's video. I guess that's it. As always, tight line, stay fishing. We'll see you on the water, under the water. All right, everybody, aloha. And don't forget, help my way out, donate, do whatever you can. Well, everybody, have a great day. What about the fisherman? He want his fish from the sea. The water's too murky, too hard to see. And the farmer man, he want to plant his car.